Hello everybody, it's Quine Quemne here, and today we're going to take a little break from the norm of the videos. I know this will be a welcome a welcome sign for some people, and other people will be like, Ugh, boring, when's it over? Well, if you think it's going to be boring, you can just fuck off now. This is going to be an uh, intellectual video, so if you don't like those, uh, you can click away now. It's not that hard, and if you keep watching, well, it's your own damn fault if you're bored, so don't bitch at me. So... This is going to be about uh, personality and a little bit of uh, psychology, as it were. Now, my personality. It's uh, really a love-hate relationship. Um, and about... and I don't even want to give a percent because I know I'd be tremendously off. But I know most people don't really like my personality. And that's why I don't have many subscribers on YouTube. Not because I don't make good videos. It's mostly because of my personality. I think because I make more videos of me talking than really anything else. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have gotten a good idea of my personality by now. At least if you're a long time subscriber. If you're a new subscriber, well obviously you don't know the kind of person that I am. And if you're not interested, well then you probably should unsubscribe now. Because... I do a lot of videos. Well, I don't do a lot of videos like this. I do maybe a few a month. But I like to talk. I like to talk a lot. Mostly to myself. I don't really like talking to other people, to be honest. I find talking to myself is more fun than talking with other people because I never disagree with myself. And it's fun to just go on unimpeded to just talk to myself and to listen to what I have to say, and to think about what I have to say, and to evolve my concepts, and ideas, and thoughts, and everything. Which I can't really do with other people, especially if that person is extremely conflicted with uh, my ideals. So, I just like, I just like talking to myself. Not because... I'm the only person I have to talk to. I have a lot of people to talk to. I just don't like to talk to a lot of those people because not everybody thinks, ex actually, like, nobody thinks exactly the way that I do. A lot of people uh, that are subscribed to me do think very similar, similarly to me, but nobody thinks 100% the way I do. Maybe it's 99.9%. .9%, but nobody thinks 100% the way I do. Nobody thinks 100% alike. Not two people. Because when you were born, you were born with one personality. And you were born with one DNA sequence. Unless you were a clone, then you were a copy of somebody else. But given the wild cards, you know, throw the wild cards out, everybody who wasn't cloned, has their own unique DNA sequence. And everybody has their own unique personality. Now, as you're raised, you don the personality that your parents give to you. This isn't really the person that you want to be. You may say it is. You may say at this point, you're like 16, like, well, yeah, I, I really like the person that I am. I like going to school. No, you don't. You don't fucking like going to school. You like hanging out with your friends. You like talking with your friends. But you fucking hate school. And you know it. Maybe you like to learn, but that's different from liking school. Liking to learn and liking school are two completely different things. Because in school, you don't learn anything, to be honest. You don't learn a goddamn thing that's useful or interesting. So school is uh, another wild card. And when you're left to your own devices and you go out into the world and you carve your niche, as it were, you really find the person that you really were. And most parents are very sheltering with their children and they don't allow their children to develop the way that they should and become the person that they're meant to be. Whether that person is... um an athlete, or, I got some shit on my keyboard, or, um, uh, intellectual such as myself, or maybe even a serial killer. You can't change who somebody really is. There's no way you can change it. You can only suppress someone's real personality. There's no 
possible, conceivable way you can change who a person really is. You can only suppress it. And people are like, well, if I beat my kids enough, they'll change your personality. No, they'll only mask their real personality just so, you know, the beating will stop. You don't change anything. And if someone's a malicious, evil bastard, and he is on the edge of his life, and somebody he really despises is the only person that can save him, um, yeah, he'll mask his personality to save his life. But, you know, once he's back on his feet and able to fend for himself, you know what? He's going to go right back to the person he was. So, you can't change who people really are. You can only alter it temporarily. Unless, you know, you kill them, then they really can't change back. Unless they're immortal, but then they wouldn't die. But, let's... Another wild card. We'll go away from that. So, the person that I am. I like the person that I am. And a small portion of you like the person that I am as well. That's why I've stayed at such a low number of subscribers. At this point, I'm only at 12,000. Um, people keep asking me, why don't you have like 50k, 100k subscribers? Because I'm a dick. I am a bigoted arrogant, egotistical douchebag, whatever other adjective you feel describes me accurately, I am that. And I accept that because you know what? If, you're, if you don't like me, your opinion doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me. But the people who are similar to me are the people that have stayed subscribed. And that's why I have such a low subscriber count, because if someone's just a blatant retard on my videos, not talking about trolls, just retards in general, I can tell the difference between a retard and a troll, believe it or not, it's not very hard to tell the difference. Although most trolls are retarded, but we'll get away from that. Um, I usually flame the retards on my videos, like if they're blatantly insulting me, they're not trolling, they're just stupid, and they misspell things, and they do a lot of grammatical errors. I love doing this when people uh, spell your, as in you are, the contraction, like Y-O-U-R, which is the possessive word, like your computer is spelled Y-O-U-R, and you're a faggot is Y-O-U-R-E. Apostrophe R E. It's a contraction of the two words you are. And I love to troll people that because that is some of the most common grammatical errors I see on my videos and most other people's videos. And people think that because this is the internet, who fucking cares about my spelling? Okay, so you want people to think you are a retarded 12 year old with Down syndrome. You, you want people to think you're a fucking idiot. Okay. All right. That's that's a good excuse for typing typing that way. Okay. All right. So, either you don't care what people think, or you really are just a retarded 12-year-old. Um, most likely the latter. But we'll, we'll, we'll go away from that. So, I stay the person that I am because I figured something out. For how young I am, I am very enlightened, believe it or not. I can't really express all my views because I think in a very abstract manner from the way most of you probably do. And I can't convey what I'm thinking without some really thorough thought. So, I only keep the people that are similar to me or people that I like around. If people are completely conflicting and um and whatnot well guess what they're not gonna stay around too long <laughs> because i don't like conflicting personalities now if i wanted somebody's conflicting opinion i'd ask for it but i don't keep people around that have conflicting personalities because that's a really stupid thing to do you know i say one thing and like oh that's stupid and you know like they fucking contradict everything I say. So it's like, why would you keep that kind of person around? So no, that kind of person goes away. But the people that are like me, I found I've found quite a few people like this over the years. Just just from being the way that I really am and portraying that persona on YouTube. And the people that have stayed subscribed for these kind of videos and the people that genuinely think the way I do 
and agree with most of the points, not because it sounds right, but because you've come to that conclusion yourself prior to me stating that conclusion. You're the kind of person that deserves a clap. It's the kind of people that don't normally get applauded. The kind of people that need to be applauded. And, you know, every random idiot who thinks they have a good idea and, you know, puts it on YouTube gets gets all the applause just because uh, that idea doesn't look good to the minority, which is us, the people who actually have an intellect. Um, but the majority of the people who are brainless, as it were, not really brainless, they just don't know how to use their brain. Um, they think it's a good idea. So they get all... Uh, you get all the applause. So, me having a lot of subscribers wouldn't really say much. Because, for me, it's quality over quantity. I would rather have a thousand uh, dedicated and like-minded subscribers than 200,000 um, contradictingly personalized subscribers that don't even really like the person that I am and I kind of have to mask it which is a lo what a lot of uh, the famous quote unquote YouTubers would say or what are they, they're not really being the person that they are they may want you to think that but you know they're really kind of dead inside because they uh, they do these stupid scripted videos from these giant corporations and they really like they kind of like doing it but it's like well this isn't really me I don't want to do this and we all know who I'm talking about, but I stay the way I am because I enjoy the attention from like-minded people. Is that so bad? Is it so bad that I am that way and people really don't like me because of things that I say? Well, you know what? First Amendment, bitch! You can't stop what I say. You can't censor what I say. Although, uh... The government is trying very hard at that, and I will be damned if that right is taken away from me. It's the First Amendment for a fucking reason. It's the first and most important one, followed by the second one, which is the right to bear arms. Those are the two most important amendments, not because um, I use them, but because they were first and second amendments. They weren't the 12th and 13th. They were the first and second, usually first giving higher importance to. So the freedom of speech is the highest and most regarded, or should be the highest and most regarded amendment to the United States of America's Constitution. However, it is kind of being ass-raped by every fucking teenage pregnant mom who is unable to care for their child properly and have to bitch and moan and complain about everything that goes wrong because they weren't there for their child. And yeah, don't have a kid if you can't watch the little bastard every minute of every day and everyone's like well well I have to have a job to support a kid well then don't have a fucking kid a kid is a full time job on its own a kid is a 24 hour a day job that's why I don't have any kids because I don't have 24 hours a day to devote to a child plus I don't really have well you don't yeah, I don't really have the money and even if I did I don't think I want a kid <laughs> I don't want another me running around because I, I don't even know if he would be a uh, similar personality to me, but you never know. Things are things are never quite written in stone. I wish they were, but they aren't, sadly. So, I don't know. But the point I'm getting across here is even if you really hate me, don't ever change the person that you truly are. Not the person that your parents taught you to be, but the person that you truly are. If you don't believe in something, if you don't agree with something, don't go with it. I don't believe in any form of religion that I know about, at least. Um, because it's conflicting with uh, my ideals and uh, my views doesn't make sense to me so never change the person that you are always stay the person that you really are don't be a copy you were born original don't die a copy